Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Sunday. What is it? The second? September 2nd? 2nd and 3rd, so Sunday, Monday. Because some people are watching this in different countries and it's already the 3rd or it's about to be or something like that. So, this is for all signs. And then we're just going to, you know, get whatever I pick up for today. I was going to get three, so we're good. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Definitely a feeling that has been going on for quite some time now. Many of you have already reached this point. Some have not. Some have. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Now, I would suggest that that's probably somebody new. Mmm. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Wow. Wow. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And this is your soulmate. Maybe you have to release one X to get to your soulmate. And then you have to tell this person that you love them. I mean, that could certainly be the case. We'll clarify those at the end. Maybe you release your ex and that new soulmate comes rushing right into your life. dropper a dropper not a pretty one either something is somebody is suffering they may be grieving over a loss there may be some regrets whatever is happening it hurts You have to make a complex decision. Are you going to express yourself or not? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is about being responsible, being practical. You could be dealing with somebody that has a lot of stability in their life. Somebody that is a very hard worker. Here we have communication or the truth, speaking the truth. Awakening, awakening, wake up call. Mm. There may have been some, there may be some spying going on or there is some sort of indirect communication or direct communication needed. Some, and you know, even if it hurts, there is some sort of communication that is needed. The Knight of Coins. This is uh, slow and methodical. Slow moving. Oh, somebody wants to go back. Needs to assert themselves and see things from a new perspective. Somebody lacks integrity, lacks the backbone to apologize, as usual. Could be dealing with a control freak. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, it looks as though somebody is clinging to control, watching behind the scenes, absolutely watching behind the scenes. Let me make sure this is zoomed in. Oh, it looks pretty good, eh? 
So somebody is watching behind the scenes and maybe getting upset with what they're seeing. I may be getting upset. Somebody, I'm not getting upset. I'm completely at ease. I am, personally. So this reading is probably for somebody else. Somebody is probably getting upset over what they're hearing or what they're seeing. Realizing the truth. I mean, really receiving some clarity here about somebody's integrity. Somebody does not have integrity. Somebody has no plan of commitment, no plan of offering anything stable and solid. We definitely are dealing with an earth sign and an air sign. Okay, we have air and earth here. We do have Aries as well. We have, all, I mean, it could be any sign, but I'm just saying we have these air and earth prominently. Sun, moon, rising, okay? Somebody is hurting over what they're hearing or what they're seeing. They're grieving over some sort of loss. Maybe angry, you know, grief. Part One of the stages of grief is anger, okay? So, just saying somebody's in that stage of, of perhaps anger. Um, they've been cheated, okay? But I have to tell you that this is a blessing in disguise. It really is. With these sevens, sevens are, are heaven sent, okay? So it feels as though this is a blessing. Somebody has been cheated. They've been lied to. And I think the other another person is seeing it clearly. I see this clearly now. I see it clearly. And it does cut and it does hurt. So that must be the X. That must be the X. It's about, you know, it's time for me to be practical. It's time for me to be get real. Get real. This Knight of Pentacles, this, this Knight of Pentacles under the Three of Swords is realizing that there is a gift through suffering. And I know that a lot of people don't understand that, but there is something, you know, you are learning something through this suffering. All right? So keep that in mind. You're learning how to stay balanced. All right? This is about you know, making a decision in your life that is going to push you to the other side. It's like you, you know you can't go back. You have to keep walking. You have to keep walking. You do. You have to keep walking. You have to keep going. You can't keep living in an illusion. There is light at the end of this tunnel. There is. There's a pot of gold at the end of this suffering. Okay, there is. But you have to keep walking. Baby steps. Baby steps. Don't look back. You have to make that decision to be flexible enough to accept the pain that you go through as a, as a lesson, as a feeling and understand that when you get to the other side when you finally get to the end you will realize the reason why it happened it's like it's time to be logical it's time to make this final decision that you need to make you may have a choice between two options okay just saying, you do. We have a two here, then we have two options, two kings. Could be a man or a woman, but you have a fire sign and an earth, I mean an air sign and an earth sign. I said fire sign, so that came out for a reason. I think there is a choice. Twos are choices between two options, and this is options. And there's a soulmate connection here. There is a soulmate with any sign, okay? There's a soulmate connection in which somebody feels cheated and hurt, needing to keep walking. Needs to be practical and logical here. Somebody may need to be cut out. Somebody may need to be dropped so that you can get to where you're going a little bit faster.
One of them is a golden opportunity. One of them is an illusion. Somebody is realizing the truth, okay, about a situation. Might not want to believe this truth, but they see the truth. I see the truth. And now we have a twos again, okay? So there's a choice between two paths, two options, okay? And there's indecision over which way to go. But you are being urged to not look back, to not look back at something, to release one and move towards your soulmate. That's what this is. This is what you're being urged to do. Release one, express your love to the soulmate, okay? Oh, goodness. But somebody is really needing to let go of some resentment because this is resentment. You know, holding on to resentment, blocking their selves from loving. I'm blocking myself. There's a lot of fears. There's a lot of worry, anxiety, and stress with this card. Somebody is holding on to that anxiety, stress, and resentment. But there's an opportunity for a new beginning. For a whole new chapter to begin. With the world cards, like you've learned one major life lesson. A major one. So last card in the deck, the fool has been through the journey. And he's learned a lot on that journey. And now he's reached the end of that journey and it's time to begin another one. So somebody has reached the end of one cycle, one phase, one project, one relationship. It's at the end. It's done. We've done everything we can do. It's over. It's done. And you may be a little upset. As you can't control this ending. It's, it's done. You're at the end. You're at the end with the world card. It's done. The journey has been completed. And it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. It's heartache. It's heartache. And I know that it is because I've had these, keep having these pains in my heart. And it's not heart, I'm not having a heart attack. I'm just having heart pains and it's nothing serious. Don't freak out on me. It's nothing's gas. <laughs> At least I said, tell myself that's what it is. Anyway, it is, it's gas. So anyway, so, but it, it just started, okay? So it just feels as though somebody is having some heartache. They're having some heart pains over, and maybe it maybe somebody is having a heart attack. I don't know. But I feel as though somebody is is, and, and I'm not saying that's gonna happen. I'm not saying I don't know. But there's heart, and this is this is heartache. The three of swords, the very first card, is heartache, and I've this is gonna this whatever I'm going through is gonna go away. It's just a I don't know what the hell it is, but anyway, um, this is walking away it's like thinking about walking away being practical it's time for me to go and you know maybe it's time for me to go back because this could be going back to something else it's time for me to go back the eight of cups reverse to something that is more emotionally fulfilling for me i can't deny it anymore it's time for me to accept the truth i need to go back to something else so that could certainly be the case so I feel like today is a day where there's an opportunity for a major new beginning. If somebody would be willing to communicate how they feel, they express themselves. We're going to clarify these cards. Release your ex. Your time has come. The time has come to clear your energy. It's time for release. Period. 
It's time to keep walking to the other side, walking towards what you want, walking towards security. It's time to keep walking. You have a choice between two options. Could be two X's, I don't know. It's time to take a time out, step back, and figure out where you want to go. It's a time to go within and become consciously aware of what you want. What do you want? It's time for justice to be served. It's time to do the right thing. It's time to make a decision. Figure out what you want to do and make that decision so that you can bring balance back to your life. Underneath this, this is this card right here is about balance too. This two of choices. The choice that you make will bring you balance. But you have to keep walking. You have to release something and head towards. Whatever it is that you really, really, really want. It's time to be honest with yourself. And, and like I said, head toward it's what you want. This is an offer of love. This is a relationship, a romance opportunity. After you release somebody, you have to release somebody. And then go make that offer express. It leads right into this card. This is where you release and then you, you offer your love elsewhere. Somebody is unsatisfied, dissatisfied with themselves, what has happened. They may have been unreasonable in the past, may not have invested enough time in expressing their love to somebody. They didn't invest. They didn't, they didn't put in effort. If you don't put in effort, then what happens? Rude awakenings. <laughs> Breakups. Shit storms. If you don't put in effort, if you don't nurture things, if you don't express your love, it falls apart. It doesn't... Remain stable. Somebody needs to release the guilt, the animosity, and the paranoia that if they express their love, they'll get rejected. Somebody has a lot of regrets here. A lot of regrets about not expressing their love. And I see that. I really do. There's a lot of regrets in this reading. You know, I'm, I'm hearing, you know, tomorrow may not come. And you know, I've given this message before. You're wasting your time. soulmate. Don't waste your time. Express your love. If you love somebody, tell them. If you are wasting your time on the wrong one, leave. Yes, this is your soulmate. It's time to stop hanging around. It's time to stop staying in limbo. It's time to stop holding on to your stance. It's time to be open to new possibilities. Stop sacrificing yourself for a situation that is going nowhere. Stop. Somebody is involved with a situation that is not well suited for them. 
and I saw this card before I even started this reading when I was thinking I was thinking and the page of wands came up that was before I pulled any cards I just saw it in my head I saw it upright though but the page of wands reversed is there's a, there's a person that is immature here there is immaturity unable to stand on their own two feet and take a risk with their with a soulmate also a lot of negative thinking because of the regrets because of the the anxiety the fear of rejection the hurt that's gone on here you know there's a lot of negative thinking going on that I will be rejected but it's time to move on it's time to it's time to get moving it's time to bring peace and serenity back to your life and get out of these troubled times. And the only way you're going to get out of these troubled times is to take action. Somebody's trying to fight this new beginning, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune reverse, trying to fight karma, trying to fight destiny, trying to fight fate, clinging to control. Literally trying to fight this new beginning. I mean, underneath this is the world. The world card. There's a major new beginning with a soulmate in which somebody is trying to fight. And as long as you try to fight something, what does it do? It brings bad luck because the Wheel of Fortune reversed is bad luck. Yes, I'll get a comment underneath. It says, oh, but what about free will? Yes, free will plays a part, but... You made a plan, this is my belief, before you came down here. And that needs to be adhered to. Unless you have more lessons to learn with the world card, that's a lesson. That is a life lesson. A life lesson has been learned. Somebody don't want to believe that shit. And they haven't learned it yet. Some have, some haven't. Bad luck. Lack of control, lack of control. This is out of your control. It is out of your control. A soulmate connection is out of your control. It's time to release whatever you are holding on to. Stop resisting this. Stop. Just stop. I don't know who this is for. Just let it go. Go with the flow. It's time to take a risk. It's time to, to perhaps, you know, gamble. This looks like gambling to me. So I feel like today is a day of potentially having a brand new beginning if somebody can express their love and release. We're going to get one of these. There's a lot of regrets. There's a lot of suffering. There's a lot of hurt and heartache. And I'm drinking my apple cider vinegar and water, so I think mine's gone because I needed that acid to get rid of it, so I'm pretty sure that's what it was. <laughs> apple cider vinegar will clear that acid right out quicker and shit, just so you know. I started drinking that about right before I started this reading, and I, it feels much, much better. Watching clouds. Lie back, rest, and relax. Beautiful. Is that what they're telling me to do? I didn't sleep a wink last night either, not one wink. Lie back, rest, and relax. Put everything aside and take time to renew your energy. It's often when you totally relax that new insights and awareness can emerge. Take deep, full breaths. <laughs> Put your feet up. 
Be present in each moment. Do nothing. Watch clouds. The answers that you seek will emerge easily. Remember I said become consciously aware? But first you need to stop all activity, take naps, and evaluate your life. That's totally what this card said when I said you need to figure out what you want. There are times when the most empowering thing the traveler can do is step off the path, stretch out, and lie on the earth to watch the clouds float by. This is crazy. Me and my daughter were talking about this yesterday. This act is renewing and regenerating. When all the activity of the road diminishes and the traveler allows a languid relaxation to emerge, there is more often the time, this is most often the time when the presence of spirit can be felt. This is also the time when significant signs appear. Whatever is most relaxing to you, stretching out in a hammock, watching clouds, taking a candlelight bath, or walking on the seashore, do it. And the challenges in your life will diminish and often simply drop away. Remember, and under this card, we, I said you need to drop something. That's funny. It does have to do with some, some, you know, something you've been tied to that doesn't serve you. So that you can unite with your soulmate. So I don't know who this is for, but it will resonate with some. Talk to you later.